Curry with Ileana Capayan. We are celebrating National Smile Month, so let me see those bright whites. We've got so much fun and culture to discover, so let's get started. There's something for everybody. Yes. If you want meat, you're good to go. If you want seafood, you're good to go. We could get bogged down by so much of the negativity. Mm. It's nice to see that this is to uplift women, bring them up, you know, we're it done is. with the negativity. This is all about us uplifting one another. Yeah. Es una oportunidad bien diferente de lo que estoy haciendo ahorita. Como decía Selena, muy excited. Muy excited, me siento muy excited. <laughs> me hace querer llorar porque mm -hmm. nomás quiero ser los orgullosos de lo, de lo que estoy haciendo. As black men in America, what does that mean? What is our black history today? And what does that look like going into the future? Now switching topics a little bit for the news everyone is talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock's altercation at the Oscars. But today we're doing our very first mommy makeover. All around functional, right? Yeah, we wanted to be cute, yes. to pick up the kids, but also like, it's okay if you get a little spit up on you. They take care of our children when they're the most uh, vulnerable and they're learning the most, yet at the same time, they're not being adequately paid. It's a celebration of acceptance, equality, and love. But for a portion of the dance community, their dance apparel never truly matched their skin tone. It's not just a trend with you guys. You're actually doing something about it. You're speaking about it. Yeah. I love the way that you said that. You have to meet us where we are. And, yes. and you understand that. You understand that concept, so you're able to kind of meet them where they are. Exactly. And help them yes. get to a better place. Baseball is full of rich history. And what better way to discover that history than here at DBAT? <laughs> For anyone growing up in a Spanish-speaking Latino household, the Estefans were a name, a sound, a part of the family that made you want to get on your feet and dance. And now you can get that feeling, and it can be found here in Bakersfield at the Stars Theater Restaurant. Starting tonight, the rhythm is gonna get you. Joining me now is Isamar Olagues, who plays Gloria Estefan. Welcome to another episode of Studio 17 Live, the Golden Empire's very first lifestyle show. We're coming live to you from the Kern County Fair. We have lots of fun and exciting things and covering the culture of Kern County. Tell me a little bit about how you got started in this industry. Well, it's actually a family business. <laughs> it's time to slow things down here on our carousel. Come on, Mr. Zebra here. He caught my eye. Which one catches your eye? Let's see. One in 44 children have been diagnosed on the autism spectrum, and over 2,000 individuals live here in Kern County. For those going through this journey, the Kern Autism Network is here to help. The Kern Autism Network was started by a mom who saw an autism society chapter in another state. She brought that idea to Kern County and then passed it on to Carl Twisselman. He took over the organization and ran it for several years before passing the network over to the current director, Ramona Pouget. You've been doing this for 18 years. Mm -hmm. What got you into this journey? My oldest son with autism, who is 30 now, um, when he was first diagnosed, I basically changed my whole outlook of what I wanted to do in life, went into psychology, wanted to better understand the way the brain functioned, you know, what was it service-wise that he was going to need, uh, what type of therapies, you know, what did we need to do to be able to better assist him. And so um, it, it changed everything. And from then on, it just kind of grew. I have four children total, so the fourth child was also diagnosed with autism. It just made sense to continue on doing what I was doing. Like both my sons, not, you know, they're not the same. They're yeah. both very different in their diagnosis. One is more verbal than the other. The other one is nonverbal, but has apraxia. Tries to speak, but it's very, very difficult to understand him. So again, that kind of led me to continue doing what I'm doing, but it's because there's a need. We do what we do for the organization to make sure families have the resources and information that they need to help them. What are those resources? So we are able to offer parent support groups that we have once a month. Uh, we are able to offer programs for the families to participate in because it's very difficult for families to get out in the community without being judged or being able to afford some of the things that are out there. Um, we try to offer everything that we do free of charge. Uh, basically, the organization, you know, is here to help families. But I like to consider them as, as family. Tell me about the family that we're going to be talking to today. So, the Martinez family, wonderful family. Um, Carla came to me uh, very early on with her, her son, Augie, and um, was attending one of our educational programs and was just wanting to get as, just like me, I, I saw myself in her wanting to get more information. How do I help my child? What do I need to do? You know, what, what, what else is there? You know, how can I make this better? Through the years, Ramona and Carla built a friendship based in their commonalities. With Carla and her family, I, I just, 
we just bonded immediately because I, I saw in her me years ago. Gosh, I was that parent, you know? And I wish I had somebody that I could go to and, you know, feel like I had a friend. Like Ramona's family, Carla also has four children, two of whom are autistic. Meet Augie and Alex. Both have varying degrees of autism. And this is the world of autism. This is the world of autism. Augie has autism, but his sensitivities are not as severe as Alex's. What do you wish that more people knew about, you know, the current autism network or just autism in general? Um, well, some people may not know what, like, may not know, like, how the, how autism people are, like, how they behave, like, don't even know, like, what they're saying or, um, or don't even know why they're getting mad. Even for my sister Alex, um, sometimes uh, she gets kind of sensitive sometimes. How do you explain it? Um, like sensory to sound. Oh yeah, the and accessory lights. sounds mm -hmm. and lights. Through the Current Autism Network, Augie has been able to grow and experience events that the organization puts together. Even though I'm already 19, I go to the adult, um, adult autism society adult group that's cool. Mm -hmm. What do you get to do in that group? We like um, communicate and um, socialize with each other. The Autism Network has provided a sense of community, support, and belonging for families and individuals going through their own autism journey. While the sense of happiness and belonging exists within the current Autism Network, the negative perception some people hold about the disorder can be overbearing. Has autism kept you from being happy? What I may not be happy is like how, what the people may, like right, what I'm thinking is like what the people might think of me. Or like every time I try drawing, I don't know what they might think. Like, do they think, like, I don't know if they are gonna like hate it or gonna make fun of it. So you're afraid of how people would judge you? Well. Judge your work? Well, pro well, yeah. And what is the one thing mom always says? Your abilities, right? My abilities. You look at the abilities, right? Mm -hmm. What we can do. And one thing we can all do and learn from the current Autism Network is this. I feel like you bring people happy. In a world where you can be anything, be kind.